don't even know who the babe is either. <laughs> it's blood. What? Chewing tobacco? Tobacco, man. What are you doing? Here? You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. Yell that to anyone born between 1975 and 1990, and they'll know exactly what you're talking about. A classic line from one of the greatest baseball movies of all time, The Sandlot. And we're joined by David Mickey Evans, the director of the movie, and Patrick Renna, who played Ham in the film. And guys, I know you guys are in town for... A that very was special good, reason. By the way. It's not bad. That I, was really say, good. Don't mean to interrupt. I haven't heard you're good. killing me smells that good since 1992. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. yeah, you guys are great. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 20th anniversary of the film, and I know there's a time with Cardinal Care, a field dedication. Tell us why you guys are here. Well, yeah, when we originally, Fox and I started talking about doing this tour last year, they wanted to uh, come up with something that they could do for each community that we sort of went through, you know, in combination with the venue. And so they decided to uh, attempt to, um, in urban areas, to uh, find uh, some land or whatever to, to make some green space or, or a little league field or something like that, or in areas where there were disabled kids, which is what we're going to do, uh, dedicate um, a field for task in conjunction with uh, Cardinal Care. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, about $50,000 worth. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite a good thing. That's great. And for you guys just to get together and kind of relive the the memories uh, of making the film when, when you think about putting that movie together and your role in it are, are there stories that stand out to you yeah i mean the, you know the the thing that i think stands out the most is just how much fun we had making it you know it was uh it was three months of all nine of us just playing baseball mm -hmm. and you know i mean he was like the ultimate ultimate coach you know the, uh, <laughs> the behind the scenes coach and he did a great yeah. job he just pulled all of, because I tell this story about how all nine of us really were that character to some, you know, greater or lesser degree, and David just kind of pulled out from all of us, and we, you know, obviously made it a little bit more than what really was, but it, yeah. it was really, it was a really special three months, so. The amazing thing about that film is so many lines do stand out. People will say them and not even reference where it came from, but you know. Mm. Why do you think that movie still resonates today and still has that kind of impact 20 years later? It's a good question. It's a good, it's a yeah, really good you. question. There's a couple of ways to answer it. <laughs> One, um, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> happens in 1962, so it's never going to become old or anachronistic, number one. It's its own little sort of slice of fictional history, so to speak. And I think it's authentic. I don't think we tried to lie to anybody when we were making it. All those young actors you know, really were having that much fun, really were saying those things as if they were saying them. And that, you know, whether you grew up and actually had a sort of a sandlot where you could go to, you played organized ball or you played in Brooklyn or, or L.A. or in the middle of Iowa or whatever, you can either identify with those kids as someone you were or knew or somebody you wanted to be. So I think that's why it stood the test of time. I've always wondered, it's been a few years since I saw it, but I remember the scene where there was... I'm going to say reverse peristalsis, for, for lack of a better, a better, <laughs> cleaner one. There was yeah. a little... Reverse You understand what yeah. we're saying. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Now, how did you guys... Because I'm thinking, even back then, mm. movie technology had to be graphics, digital images. How did, how did you guys pull that It was all out? real. It was all real. They, you know... We put them on that roller coaster and just... And just gave didn't us, stop until they chucked. Oh, man. <laughs> no, 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 25 no. times around now. You know, no. It was split pea soup. It, it split pea soup, baked beans. Yeah. Oatmeal. Ice. Yeah. Uh, some movie gelatin. Uh, For the consistency. Indeed, a little the thickener. Good. you yeah. got to have that thick stuff. Not too thick. And some water and, uh, you know, one of those uh, power drills with a paint thingy, and you're good to go. And the chewing tobacco was... Uh, Beef jerky and licorice. And licorice. So yeah. it wasn't real stuff. No, right? it no. wasn't real. Well, we appreciate you guys being here. And uh, before we let you go, because you're here for a good oh, cause and it's great no. seeing you guys, we present <laughs> you <laughs> with <laughs> some s'mores. Did somebody see, look at somebody that. see that? See this? Those look great. Pretty just, good. Who made these? Did you make these? Those are no top quality in s'mores. I had I no tell hand you. in this. Now, are these edible or? Hang on. Huh? No. They're oh, they're actually, real, dude. Actually, yeah, the great. producer ate some, so you can okay, go ahead good. and take a bite. Before we let you go, Quite a gift. Thank can you. you give us a You're Killing Me Smalls? Oh, again? absolutely. Which which camera? Number this one. one. Number two. We'll pick one. You're, You're the killing star. me, Smalls. Nice. Okay. I want to say one more time. Again, tomorrow, Cardinals Care, along with these guys from the Sandlot, dedicating the task, the Sandlot Field in Fenton. The dedication will be at 10 a.m. with a celebrity softball game to follow. 
Guys, thanks, and good luck. It's great seeing you. Obviously a great film. Thank you very much. Thank we you very appreciate much. it. Much more to come on Missouri.